Hello everybody and welcome back to Sven Plays Starbound 1.0. The good news is, in the intervening time, I found I actually had all the materials necessary to make a bunch of dyes. So I was able to complete my look now with a dyed black protectorate shirt. I scout the scouter pants of dyed black, dyed my cape red, and now I look like a freaking supervillain. Or hero, depending on what your perception is of a hero or villain. But Given the big toothy grin, I'm going to go with villain for my interpretation of the character. I always like having di like black and red are my favorite colors as far as dying things are concerned. Now, uh, no, let's keep, let's keep the cape. I like the superhero image. So I'm pretty much done chucking away all the other stuff. Food items, I basically went through and stashed a bunch in the fridge. And blocks, I mean, if it comes to it, I can just get rid of blocks. Blocks aren't worth money anymore. In fact, I might even just get rid of some of these now. And let's go down and explore that high little village because I am on the hunt for clues. In fact, I should set the quest to active tracking so I can see it. For a second, I thought this was a monster like on my spot. Alright, scan objects to find high little clues and also to be able to print higher little objects. In all honesty, working with the high little stuff was some of my favorite. How peculiar, but surprising information can be even more valuable than expected information. Etc. <laughs> but the high little set is easily one of my favorites because, I mean, it's... A lot of you probably already aware of this, but I am a really big lover of Japanese culture in general, which is the primary inspiration for the high little culture, where they're kind of advanced socially and culturally, and they have just... They're just classy. They're a classy bunch. And that's the high little to a T, like... They are wise and gentle. A rather childish attempt at floral display. Well, that's mean. A beautiful flowery bush. A peaceful stone. Looking at it makes me feel calm. My friend Yoko hasn't arrived yet. My old friend Yoko was meant to meet me so we could plan a piece of art inspired by classic literature not too long ago. But she probably got lost getting here. The last place I saw her was the entrance to the Mininog Laboratory east of us. Could you go there and bring her back for me? Well, as it happens, I do know where that lab is. I could. Um, let's finish scanning this place first, see if there's enough clues in here. And then I can go sort of script that out. Did I scan everything in there? No, I didn't. Although, in the case of scanning for clues, it's only the green things that really matter, but I'm going to scan everything anyway so I can print stuff out later. There's a cat up there. I never noticed there was a cat in these villages. Ooh. I'm just going to... Oh, this is a clue. This confirms something I had speculated upon, says Esther Bright. And just, excuse me, I'm just gonna... Yoink. Oh, I like the sign. I want to scan the sign. So it goes too far. Oh, because of the wall in front of me, right? I do kind of want to just... Yoink. <laughs> I like arcade machines. Look at this sign, it's so damn happy. Good customer service, including the fact that most of my stuff is stolen. Excuse me. Uh, oh, that wasn't... Sorry, I didn't expect you to actually see me do that. Uh, fun fact about Reef Cola. Soda and Oculi Lemonade just give you uh, like an energy boost. They don't give you any nutrition, but that you also don't get well fed. So you could actually drink as much of it as you want. However, it only lasts for about 30 seconds. So they're not really a great money sink. You're better off using food. However, Reef Collar, for those of you who don't have the good fortune of getting a swimming augment, you can actually just gull Reef Collar for a 30 second swim boost. Or was it one minute? I can never remember. Uh, but it basically just lets you swim faster and more smoothly in water. And given I'm going to be trying, probably going to be traipsing to an ocean world, that's probably not a bad idea to have a few of those on hand. Even though it is a little bit pricey for what it is. Soggy paper. Gross. Just make sure I've scanned everything in here, because I want to be able to print all the things. Now then. Anything new in here? An aquarium. Nice. Clock. Nice. I'm going to keep this village tag so I can steal this stuff later. <laughs> this is how horrible it is. So I can uh, acquire their things later. Hello, guard. Not causing any trouble here. Just planning theft down the line. What does this say? Generations ago, Hylotl civilization was almost undone. A race of philosophers and artists almost brought to extinction by the barbarous attacks of a savage horde. 
the Florin, simplistic, violent, and uncivilized, ravaged our lands and savaged our people. Their ferocious violence threatened our very existence. In modern times, this old enmity has faded into non-existence. While the Florin have simply forgotten about this episode, episode, episode in our shared past, we Hylothal have managed to forgive. We do so magnanimously, and with lightness in our hearts, we forgive them. Even though they destroyed centuries worth of literature, artistry, and achievements, even though they drove us terrified beneath the ocean waves, even though they tried to eat us, yes, we definitely forgive them. I've never read that one before, but that's quite funny. <laughs> and my incredibly, probably racist delivery, I'm actually not, like, at first I thought I was doing a stereotypical, like, wise sensei kind of voice, but it started having, like, shades of, like, Russian? Uh, like, really bad Russian, mind you, but uh, I don't know. Oh, this is the big clue. This beautifully constructed miniature island on this Ukraine must have taken a long time to make. And you can see my bar's almost always already filled up. I have a feeling I'm not going to be so lucky to find another, like, big clue here. But you never know. Emblem. A symbol of my people. Uh, see, it's okay for me to take these things because these are my people. I want more petals because making dice from them is good. More books. We who survive. Our innate sense of harmony with the universe is a well from which all High Lotto draws strength and inspiration. Even in our darkest hour, High Lotto craftsmanship remained unmatched in form and function. A thriving civilization was reborn from the depths of the ocean. Spiraling citadels now boast towering palaces with bountiful gardens, great domed emporiums of trade and entertainment, and at the heart of each, an immense library. This time around, a thread of forethought was woven into our modern culture to protect and defend our way of life with honor and grace. A high lotto warrior is like the ocean, serene unless enraged when at once they become a tsunami. Very poetic. Very poetic indeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cultured, all class. Except for me with my, uh... Well, no, just to say that's not what high little people sound like. Yeah, except for the fact that they go, hmm? Hmm? That ain't me, by the way. Yeah. It was actually quite challenging coming up with what the sounds of each race should be. Because... Uh, sorry, I didn't expect you to actually see that. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yoink! 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 And you know what, these will match my ship. <laughs> Any other clues? More money. No, he's okay. I already read that one, but I'll take it anyway because I can sell it. I'm worried about my co-worker Subame. My co-worker Subame was meant to visit earlier so we could talk about our feelings. <coughs> Excuse me. So we could talk about our feelings, but they haven't turned up. Probably because they didn't want to talk about their feelings. I have suspicions that the Minionog agents I saw near the entrance of the Minionog laboratory east of us have something to do with it. Can you please save Subame? Sure. Now I have two quests in the same area, so it means I'll get double the rewards. This provides a pleasing outside source of light. Oh, you people are just begging for help right now. I'm worried about my co-worker Takahiro. My co-worker, this is just another one of, this time as a group of assassins, also at the Maylog Laboratory. Fuck, if I, ex as I keep accepting these, there's just gonna be like two mobs of enemies and maybe even three of them, and I'm gonna have a really hard time. But hey, whatever, I'm the hero and everything, why not? Uh, I should eat because I just realized my food bar is getting a bit low. There we go. Right, anything else in here I can haven't scanned yet? Your chair! There you go. Looks like I'm going to be heading back to that meal lamp. Actually, I did flag it as well, so I don't actually have to walk all the way back either. You are an inspiration to us all. Hmm? That's very kind of you to say, considering I'm stealing so much of your shit. Uh... You don't mind if I, uh... 
<laughs> I was playing a dangerous game. I think the sweet spot is if you break five items. If, if one sees you break up to five things, that's when they get pissed. And that would have caused them to call town guards, and then I would be enforced to either run or butcher all of them, and nobody wants that. I do like this fountain. I think I'm far enough from them to not notice. Yes! And as it happens, it looks like I'm at the edge of a town now as it is. So not a whole lot of reason to walk all the way back. Give me those pedals. Alas, not quite enough to get all the stuff, but got a good long portion of the way. So if I basically find any other sort of high level micro dungeons or dare I say an underwater city and I should be in a much better spot to uh, deal with things. Did I scan that? I wasn't sure because it's solid. Well, Rather than walk all the way back, I'm just going to beam to the uh, the flag that I had outside that Apex base, and then I can just run past Apex Lab 2, because it was on the desert also. Luckily for me, they didn't end up placing the group in here. Well, there's someone there. Can't actually see. Uh, he's just above. I think there's the mob holding one hostage. Oh, that's the normal person I need to escort back, so I'll leave them for the moment. Now, it didn't actually read the quest in full. Are they all at the entrance? Entrance, entrance. It's near the facility, under the Maynog Laboratory. Near the facility, huh? I guess that means they're just inside. It is a bit randomly generated stuff, so it's not always perfect with its uh, choice of words. All right, time to go all banshee mode here. Did I have any? Did I solve any thorn things? No, I don't. That's a shame. I should have brought some. But as it so happens, I can make some in a pinch. So if you hit me, you're gonna feel it. Hello. Oh, you hit harder than you look. Don't leave me! Take me home to Yuka! Oh, could you take me back to Ryuchi? I'm hopelessly lost. Now, the smart thing would be to take them back. But I want to get this other person who's still down there. It's got Yoko. Entrance, entrance, it's this one. So we can see from here that he's down to the left somewhere. But how deep is it? If I'm not careful, I could get the other two people I'm escorting killed. But I live life on the edge! Hell with it. I'm not going to worry about scanning things this, this time either, because I don't need to yet. But I may as well do some looting. Can you take me back to Rushi? I will, eventually. I mean, no crisis. Ah, I've done plenty of reading on this episode. Let's get to the killing. Oh, wow, this one's quite different already. And they teleport after me, so it's okay. If I leave them behind, not a big deal. I think this just leads out to a natural cave, right? Yeah. Oh, easy tungsten. May as well grab it. And, moving on. Upgrade module, sweet. Bananas? And bombs! Yeah, I did already, such as. Sometimes I like to randomly spin the lights just to see the lighting, like have it light up the surrounding area so I can see if there's anything through the walls. Now, I don't think I'm far from. Ooh, there's a consideration. My uh, companions could get themselves carelessly killed on here if, I'm, if I don't watch out, so. Let's clear that. <laughs> I don't want to go jumping too far forward because I don't want them jumping onto the, uh, onto the barbs. Please do not be killing yourselves on barbed wire. Only I am allowed to kill myself on barbed wire because I am so strong. So strong. Okay. Brain edger, sure, why not? Okay. They look like a pretty tough set. What are my options at the moment? I do have bombs. Bombs and Molotovs together could be pretty vicious. Oh, 
Oh yeah, double pistols. Okay, it's just her. Yeah, I got them all. Uh, since I'm already was deep down, I may as well finish investigating this particular dungeon. Hey, a red flashlight, that's cool. Useful for having a light show, like a rave or something. May as well check these bottom rooms. And then of course, I'll somehow get my three innocent civilians killed because of my hubris. Oh, that's what triggers the trap. The door. Uh. I'm gonna have to be very careful about not getting them poisoned. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't just close the door when I'm trying to use the light there. That's a pretty cool looking fish, not gonna lie. I mean, they were pretty cool looking fish. So we did some really good stuff that. Oh, I wanna go investigate that. I'm not taking this. And what's inside your cabinets here? Upgrade modules? Sweet. Flares? Eh. Oh man. They usually have gnome hats in there. Uh, I guess I'll just remember to come down here later. I don't wanna get too carried away of going too deep. And I've got these, uh, whoa, a bit of latency there. Gauntlet, not very powerful by itself, but if I can get the recipes to upgrade it. And this is the clue item, so I want to keep that. It won't highlight anything until, I, like, basically, once I get the Apex clue, if I've got it on my person, it will automatically fill me up. Please don't go walking off the edge, whatever you do. Thank you. And there was one more path up here. Okay, another tech chest. Green stems for running fast, like a ninjaman. Pickaxe and red stems. All right. With that, I guess it's time to take these guys home. Even though I should have been doing that from the get-go, really, if I was being a truly responsible rescuer, but I'm not. I'm not a truly responsible rescuer. I am an asshole who thinks only of himself first. So, like, while I'm in the neighborhood, who wants to rob this place of me? Yeah, Metal Gear. Just about there. Do not enter. I'm afraid it's too late for that. And, oh, glad I forgot to check that. I should check all of these containers, actually. Manipulate module. Awesome. And that's just an oven. That is just straight up an oven. Sure, I'll cook my bird and I'll eat it. And, well, that's actually a pretty decent damage hammer. That's better than the one I had before. That's an energy one. Uh, it might have a use, but I'll probably just sell it. Because for this level, it's only average at best. Ten years on. Already know this codex. Very well. Alright, I guess I can move on then. Alright, I'll take you guys back to your village and that I can claim all my sweet reward bags. Which I do have enough room for, thankfully. Hello, Phoenix. We're just passing through. Please don't mind us. Pay no attention to the man dressed like a supervillain. Uh, the High Lottle dressed like a supervillain. Even though he's actually performing an act of absolute heroism right now because I'm just so amazing. I'm coming to claim my rewards. Because that's the only reason I did this. Not because I'm selfless or anything, but because I just want stuff. I don't even know what it'll be. It could be just seeds. It could be weapons that are utterly useless for my level. Or it could be upgrade modules and things like that. Who knows? It's the mystery that makes it exciting. Heck, I could actually get some crew members out of it if I'm lucky. Crew members would be nice. That's a pretty good reason to do some of these little side quests. Because then I would have a meat shield. Uh, I mean, a trusted companion. Did I? Did I not get this? No, another case of a chest where I did take the stuff, but I just didn't take the chest itself. Don't know why. Don't know why I did that. Well, don't need that. 
Ah! Die, platypus thing! Die, bunny funny things. Uh-oh. It's getting to night, so we're getting aggressive flyers now. Oh, that's a lot of you. Phew. Come with me, people. We are so close to your village now, I can taste it. I think. I hope. Almost. There. Almost. There. Almost. There. We're here. We're here. I'm going to show you a nice flower. Oh. You consider the flowers your things too. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. They said didn't trigger them attacking me because that would have made things awkward very quickly. Ah, the sandstorm's slowing me down. Stop it. She and I are very grateful. Well, that's nice. But what did your gratitude actually get me? Torches. You son of a bitch. Please help me. I need eight sandstone. Could you help me there? Eh, not in the mood. Speaking of sandstone, this sandstone's a bit ridiculous. It's okay. I still have two more opportunities, like fun rewards. Oh, merchant. Perfect. No sense buying high little armor for you since I can make it. But, combat mech trousers? I'm not going to get those anywhere else. Since I cannot make them. Merc Greaves, I'm kind of more lukewarm to, but uh, what else am I spending money on, right? Get some unique costume wear. I guess that'll do it, as far as selling. Let's find these other two quest dealers. Uh, what kind of quest are you offering? Interest in me, like Lamshay? Eh, I've already done two or three of those. If oh, it's a guard offering a quest. He might sound a bit more interesting. God, as good as me, should stand out. Can you help me look reliable? Could you deliver this note to her for me? Is the secret to how friendships begin? Well, these can often be very simple quests that can be done very quickly, so you never know. If you kindly take this reply to Sumiko, sure. I don't know why you can't just go to him yourself, you lazy bastards. Has accepted my friendship. You need four iron ore. Unfortunately, I only have iron bars because I turn everything into bars pretty much immediately. I'll see if I have some later. Anyway, where's my other two quest reward people? I know they're here somewhere. There's one. You rescued Tsubame. You're my hero. Take this. Oh, sweet. Perfect. I believe I could aid you. Yep, I just got my first crew member. A chemist also. So these per So what these guys do is they basically stim you up in combat. Um, so it can give you things like a glow stim when it's dark and such. What stim you get I think is pretty random, but... I'm not sure how exactly it works. I haven't researched it in detail. I'm sure he's relieved to have you around. Yes, I'm sure he is. But let's see what your reward bags give me. A piano! And tungsten ore. That's actually quite a lot of tungsten ore, so I'm not going to complain about that. But however, this is the perfect time before I do this. I just I just need to do this. I need to... Hmm, what am I going to play? Hmm, what am I going to play? I'm going to play this one. <laughs> Damn it, the Sansa is blowing the door. <laughs> oh, right, Morphle, I can't keep playing. Damn it. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's enough of that. <laughs> Unless you want more! Maybe some, uh, I don't know, friggin' no... Yeah, this is a bit loud. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I love- I, I really love the instrument system for how simple it is, it's great. Hello! My crewman! Let's go! Yes! Now, first order of business. I'm gonna quickly unload... 
Alright. House cleaning is pretty much done, I think. I just realized, but when I get. Oh, of course he stimmed me. I'm like, why do I have the damage buff? He must have stimmed me with that thing. You beautiful bastard. Alright. So, now that I've gotten most of the clues I need for the high level thing, I guess. Actually, before I forget. Before I go anywhere, before I forget again, I'm gonna head back down to my farm. There it is. And I believe there should be more cotton waiting for me right now. Yeah! And now I can finish my armor set. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Um, I'll leave these here for now. I'll come claim them later when I say I decide to actually settle down and build a farm properly somewhere. Because I may as well have access to them. But now, I can finish my work. I can finish my set, more importantly. Where's the anvil? There it is. Hello, Krabby. You continue being your adorable self, and I'm just going to make my armor. My armor set is complete! Ah, only took me a few hours to get to tier 2 full set. Now let's do it all over again. And why not? Make some throwing weapons. It's a good, fun, silly throwing weapon. Alright. Yeah, I'll put this away for now. Perfect. I am perfect. Well, before we barrel on, guys, I think we're going to take a quick break here. And we'll continue this next time on Sven Plays. See you then. Even though they drove us terrified beneath the ocean waves, even though they tried to eat us, yes, we definitely forgive them. I've never read that one before, but that's quite funny. <laughs>